Welcome back, Egyptology lovers. Today we're going to do a special translation suggested by one of the followers. This is the mask of the young pharaoh famous Tutankhamun. It's the golden mask. And on the back there are some hieroglyphs written back here and someone asked me to translate them, so I did. Uh, this technique of inscribing hieroglyphs on metal, or in this case gold, is called chasing and repousser, which is French and means to push back. And you would use a piece of metal, uh, which obviously uh, pure gold is very soft, so you use any harder metal to be able to push that back down. So you would create these lovely hieroglyphs on the back of metal. Um, in this case, we have the spell of the Book of the Dead, chapter 151, so it's a full text here. Uh, the spell varies really from papyrus to parchments to whatever it is that they wrote on. Um, sometimes the words are missing, sometimes gods are replaced. Other times, uh, prepositions have been removed or changed, uh, nouns or pronouns have changed. So if a pronoun, you'd have you instead of he and vice versa. So it really varies. Uh, the Egyptians were quite free with their use of, uh, of spells. Nothing was really exact. So uh, if they would try to keep the majority of everything the same, but just changing a few little things. So in this case, we have two columns. I mean, 12 columns. You have two sections on both sides, but it's all just one spell. It, it reads from right to left. How do you know this? From my past lessons, I indicated that anything facing the right would be read from the right. Anything facing from the left would be read from the left. But here, everything is facing the right. So we read from the right. We're going to read from the top, bottom, all the way, and then continuing over here to the very end. So let's start with the 12 columns on the very t uh, far right, and we'll work our way down. So here it says, Lord, yeah, it's hard to see, but the word Neb, so, Lord of Sight, okay, bound by Ta Sokar, this is a composite god, Ta Sokar, who was raised by Anubis. This is Anubis in Pooh. Uh, usually there's a reclining jackal here, but instead they have a determinatives for a god. Let's continue. Whom there has been given, so there has been given to him by Thoth, who has raised him. The beautiful, a face, which is with the gods. May your right or western eye be in the day um, the, the evening bark, so the night bark, the night boat. May your left, may your left eye or western uh, eastern eye, sorry, western and eastern eye, be in the day bark or the uh, the morning bark. This is a nispy word. We don't pronounce this. This is in order to inform. There's a new sentence here, so you'll see a few of these. May your eyebrows, so like you, you have eyebrows. Here's the determinative for eyebrows, so you know there's two of them, and that's to tell you this is the word eyebrows. May your eyebrows be with the Aeneid, or the in the judgment hall you have the nine gods presiding over the balance or the judgment of the deceased. This is again the Eu, the Nisbi, we don't pronounce this. A new sentence. May your front brow or forehead, be with Impu, again Anubis, right over here is Anubis. Same thing, the Nisbi we don't pronounce, continuing forward. May your back head, or the back of your head, be with Horus, now we shift over here, Horus. Nisbi again, the word we don't pronounce, new sentence. May your lock of hair be with Ta, Sokar, again, Ta Sokar has been indicated here once more. So Ta Sokar. And in front of Osiris, so that he may see, so that's the same word, just on two sections here, in two columns, may see, so that he may see by you. All right, let's keep going here. May you guide, to guide someone, may you guide, you can see the legs determinative, meaning of something movement. May you guide him to 
the fair places. May you smite, so attack or hurt someone, for him, the gang of Set. So Set was the, or the enemies or gang or rivals of Set. So Set, here pronounced Setch, Setch, S-T, Sh, and Set is the evil uncle of Horus that killed Osiris, and Horus defeated him. Um, so the uh, image of evil of any gods like Hades in the other world, you have Set. He is the evil one. Even though he is well known for helping on the bark of the night for Ra's transition to the morning by defeating Apep. So he also helps, but also is considered evil. So he's got that uh, double, uh, double characteristic. All right, so Set, the gangs of Set. All right, let's keep going. That he may befell or drop down or hurt or kill your foes or enemies before the Aeneid. Once again, the Aeneid over here, which is before the nine gods of the Judgment Hall. So we can see words are being repeated constantly here. So continuing on, may the great Aeneid, I'm sorry, uh, yes, before the Aeneid, in the great temple, which is in Iunu. So this is a sacred place of Heliopolis where the temple is of Iunu. And may he take the great crown. So this is the white crown of Upper Egypt. This is another word for writing it. Uh, the white crown is the Urit. And this is the white one that you would see Osiris wearing uh, of um, Upper Egypt. So Urit. Before or by or therein, before Horus. And here, Horus, who is Lord of the nobles. So anybody who is noble of hierarchy, so the royalty technically. So that's the end of the spell. And it over here, this little section, you have... Words spoken by Isis, and the spell continues onward onto the shoulders. But what we have, it stops over here. So it would start from the shoulders over here, and then continue on, and then it would drop out over into the shoulders. If you can see my finger, it would drop over here. So words spoken by Isis, and it would just continue on there. So there's the translation of the uh, the Golden Mask of Tutankhamun on the very back. I hope this helps. Uh, if you want the full chapter, it's chapter 151b in the Book of the Dead. I'll add a version to it from the Book of Ani, uh, but it could vary from papyrus to papyrus, so don't be alarmed if things look a little different. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, particular one. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, translating it. I was uh, putting it on my table for quite a while, and I eventually got to it. If you like, please follow and subscribe. Let your friends know as well if they love hieroglyphics and uh, learning about the language. And I'm happy to share with everyone for free, because all knowledge is for the world, not just for the rich. Thank you, everyone, and uh, have a great day. And uh, hopefully uh, see you soon for the next video.